Five Nice Mice in Concert by Chisato Tashiro. One night when the moon was full, five little mice heard the sound of music carried by the wind. Where is it coming from? They wanted to know. Well, there was only one way to find out. So they began to follow the sound. They walked through the city, listening in all directions. They followed the sound to the gates of the park. The street was dark, but the music was getting louder and louder. This must be it, said one. Here is a sign, said another. What's it say, asked the youngest. Frog concert, frogs only. Oh no, said the youngest. We'll just have to sneak in, said the oldest. And that's exactly what they did. Peeking through the grass, they saw a wonderful sight, a chorus of frogs all singing a song to the moon. Gleaming beams of silver carry our tune farther and farther up over the moon. The melody was lovely. Then a voice behind them boomed. Can't you read the sign? Frogs only. Out you go. So they left. That night, the five little mice couldn't sleep. The concert had been so exciting and the music so lovely. Wouldn't it be great if we could do that too? Said the little gray mouse. They all tried to sing the Over the Moon song, but all that came out was peeping and squeaking. It didn't sound like the beautiful frog music at all. We could play the music on our own instruments said the brown mouse, who always had her best ideas at night. Brilliant, said the oldest, but what instruments? The next morning, they all set out to find the things they needed to make their instruments. They looked for things that would cling and clang, rustle and rattle, and even things that could tap, tap, boom. The five little mice worked a long time building their instruments, and when they were finished, they began to practice. They practiced song after song until each one was just right. At last they were ready. The five little mice put up posters all over the city to invite everyone to their first concert. When the big night arrived, they packed up their instruments and drove to the concert hall. They nervously set up their instruments on stage. Would anybody come to their concert? They had to hurry. Soon the curtain would open. Then they heard Ladies and gentlemen, the five nice mice. Finally, the curtain opened and they began to play song after song. Each one was better than the last. The audience loved it. When the concert was over, everyone started clapping. The mice saw their mouse neighbors and relatives, but they saw some other faces as well. It was the frogs, and they were trying to hide. You don't need to hide, shouted the youngest mouse. Come out. This caused some confusion, but then the five nice mice said, Mouse and frog friends, 
Thank you so much for coming. We would like to play one more song, our favorite, Over the Moon. You really are five nice mice, said one frog. They played beautifully. At first, everyone just listened. But then a few of the frogs joined in. Soon the whole audience began to sing. The mice and the frogs created such harmony. It was a night no one would forget. And as the morning light began to change the night sky, they all promised to make music together again soon. And that's what happened. The next time the moon was full, they played and sang together. The wind carried their music farther and farther over the moon. They sang and played together until they were so tired they fell asleep. Mice and frogs together.